All right, we're gonna be talking about in this road trip episode, um, really about that Hollywood look. You know, what's the best body to have? You know, for for the Hollywood films. And crazy enough, we have a special guest here. We have Henry Penzi on the podcast live with us here today, sitting right next to us. Um, in case you're watching the audio or listening to the audio, rather, and uh, he, you're you you're involved in Hollywood. Yes, very involved. Worked in a lot of great movies, but there always uh, there's always time you have to train. For a good movie, yeah, and the time is uh, is to get up early, like four o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. and train by four, and have like a two-hour training session before you go to work. Because most times, um, in films, uh, call times are like at seven thirty in the morning. It's a twelve-hour day, and so you you're too exhausted at night to train. Oh, right? by then, yes. So you had to train at like four or five in the morning. Yes. Damn, and uh, and so you. And so you've worked with uh, you've worked on uh, several movies, and you've worked with um, and you, you're a ma your manager or manager, and worked uh, on a team with Mark Wahlberg for many 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 years, and that's yeah. how um, he's the type of guy that always gets everybody involved uh, with his training. And if you're out of shape, he puts you in shape and try to keep everybody healthy. So Mark Wahlberg is training at four in the morning on, on, when he's on set for these movies. For every movie, he is every movie. With them, you name Pain and Gain. You name. Him. It depends what, uh, like the pain and gain. He was training to get bigger. Right. Uh, some movies he trains to get leaner. Right. Uh, but don't you have? But then the, the movie is filmed for about thirty days, right? It's about thirty days. Thirty of filming. to forty days, yeah. And then, but between, do you have a lot of time between movies usually? To, uh, like, to have, and yes, and his training on that is playing basketball and staying active. Yeah. Okay. But most most actors in town they train for, right. even if they're not in a movie set or whatever. But when they get going in the movies. You know, either they bring the gym to them, which is a big trailer, mm -hmm. and you train there, or you wake up in the morning and go to the gym. Go to the gym's in a trailer? Yes. So, oh, so you can work out when you That's have cool. a couple hours of free time between the between your takes and stuff? You could do that during uh, we during our lunch break. We would play football mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, keep So, so then let's, let's talk about, so, so when a, an actor is doing a movie, like you know, Mark Wahlberg, for example, there's also, there's the, the 30 to 40 years of filming, but then before the filming, there's like... They do these rehearsals, right? Yeah. Is that like a crazy schedule rehearsal. or no? That is, it's just a test. They always yeah. just come in for a test, uh, test mm -hmm. shoot, kind of see the chemistry between the actors, right. and then that's training for the movie, kind of right. table reads and what have you. But when you're training, like when he had to prepare for the Pain and Gain movie, it was all about eating good, eating healthy, mm -hmm. trying to get big, the muscle, the mass. Uh, I know a lot of people thought he was juicy. No, it was all natural, mm -hmm. and that's how he prepared for. It. Or the movie Pain and Game. Nice. When he prepared for uh, Long Survivor, that was another kind of preparation, a lot of cardio, uh, because of the climbing, climbing of the mountains and not being in, in different locations mm -hmm. and, and high altitudes. You'd assume it kind of, with those those two specifically, or any other movie that has a specific uh, goal in mind to like look like you're a member of that community, for, mm -hmm. for example, you're in Pain and Game, you had to look like a bodybuilder. So you yeah, train correct. like a bodybuilder, look like a body, and then mm -hmm. with uh, the long and survivor, like you have to look yeah. like a seal. You have to you know, you're up in the mountains the whole time, and you're doing a bunch of stuff. So then I think like and the fighter, you have to kind of get the boxing training. too. Oh, that fighter, yeah, yeah, that took a lot of uh, a lot of training. On it was that. a lot of boxing training. A lot of boxing training, a different type of training. Uh, yeah, it was all going into the boxing rings and being part of that. A yeah. lot of um, morning training for that. And crazy, and in, in the fighter, there was a scene when he was out of shape, right? Because we had to get out of shape too for the movie. Was that yeah, after that or the before? That's, that's not even just in that movie. I've seen a lot of movies where that's the case, and you're like, how do yeah. they get in shape in this 30, 30 days? What's the secret? Yeah. Well, they what they do, if people don't understand that the movies are shot backwards. Right. So what happens is he's out of shape, and then he goes right into shape. What? How long did it take? Uh, the fighter, I think, it was uh, a, a, a thirty-day shoot. So then, it, 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 within the thirty days, he was like, you know, all cut up, like ready, like like contest ready for the fight. But then also within that same window, he was also kind of looked kind of pudgy. A bit. Well, that was movie making. So what right. happened during the editing? I'll give it away. During the they, the, the editing, they filmed it like a few months they, later. Later, and then ca captured right. that moment of him being out of shape. That makes sense. I have to give so, it away. Sorry. Yeah. So <laughs> no, no, I, I, that's I, what actually a lot of it's the only old, believable. Yeah. Old supplements right. used to do that. Old supplement companies. If you look at those old from like the <laughs> early two thousands, all the supplement magazines, they get people. Magazine, they're already ripped, and then tell them just gain 30, 40 yeah. pounds. And then they pay them to gain thirty pounds, and then they take a before, they flip it before picture, and they flip it around. You know, this girl I used to date in high school. She told me that her mom did that. So. 
her, so her mom got paid because she was so fit to gain 20 pounds. Yeah. Yeah, and then flip the photos. Well, you can always tell because they always have like huge traps and, and shoulders. Yeah, they do. So they like the left. You know? <laughs> so how would you do it if you had the opportunity to be in well, a well, movie that well, was... It, it seems like a lot of the, the, the pro fitness progress comes before they start shooting. Because you got to get in shape before the movie. Of course. So you got like, you know, they usually got a couple months, two, three months to... Uh, the preparation, yeah, about it's, six weeks. To... So it's challenging, though, because sometimes actors will have like three or four movies in a year. Like three or four big movies, all that require a different look. So you have to like, you know, get really fit Long for one hair, movie. short hair, bald. It's nuts. It's, yeah. it's insane. Um, yeah, but for me, I guess it would depend really on, on, on uh, the look I'm going for. And uh, it would depend on uh, how much time I have, and um, and I mean, in the situation, you know. But if they're going for someone's trying to get like really, really lean, dense, hard, you know, I'd have them, I'd have them follow the program, mm -hmm. do the keto body, get them, you know, doing the fasting every day, hitting the right number of calories, bring them to the gym, train, like, you know, training hard, getting those lifts stronger. But the thing is, is it sometimes it takes time. Like getting lean can happen fast if someone's really focused. But to put on like 10, 15 pounds of muscle can, can take time. And a keto bottle, so once you get in, it, it gets you to, to stay in shape for whatever, two months. Yeah. But what if you want to get out of shape and you have to do a roll with, you need to get that little pudgy stomach and. Uh, eat donuts. Eat donuts? Oh, great. Just, just eat tons <laughs> of donuts. Just have, a, have an absolute ball. Well, what, what would you do? <laughs> Me? Ball, well, ball. what gets me to get me like that, like heavy in the stomach? Uh, Coca-Cola. Coca I could gain weight yeah. easily. If I just let myself go and just was indulging all the time, like I would be eating ice cream right now, doing the podcast. Yeah. Well, I was surprised last night when you had two two dinners. I was like, hey. Yeah, is, it, is it Leo or no, Mark this calling is, you? No, it's not a phone call. It's it's, it's time, time to do uh, work out. Oh, so you had a workout time. That's yeah. the other key. You have a timer that tells yeah. when it's time to work this out. This is the time when I go. That's the key. <laughs> you need a timer to know when keep it going. Hell yeah, man. Uh, any other Hollywood secrets you have to, to share with us about really the the, the, the the amount of effort it requires to kind of get in shape? and and. Uh... I think the secret to success in a Hollywood movie star is to keep your body in shape. However, Stay I mean, in you shape all the time. Stay in shape all the time. Ready, yeah. ready all the time because you never know when it... So you might get that call and say, hey, we want you to do, you know, a, a fitness movie. We want you to right. be a part of this, a war movie, and you don't want to be out of shape on something like that. It's better right. to be in shape and then get out of shape. Mm -hmm. yeah, then to get out of shape and try to get in shape, that's a little harder, I believe. It, yeah, it's a, it's a lot more common for people to, uh, to to need to be fit for a movie than to be out of shape. Yep. If they're looking at a leading man type person, like, for example, Mark Wahlberg, they're, they're going to want him to be in shape most of the time. That's part of his brand too, I think. Yeah. You know, I don't know if Fat Mark will sell as well as, as Mark. ripped Mark. Yeah. <laughs> or like The Rock. I mean, you know, it's yeah, The it's Rock. His, his brand is being, being big. and he's the highest paid actor right now. Yeah. He's mm -hmm. massive. It was weird for a long period of time there wasn't really a high paid actor that was this huge overwhelming guy since Arnold until until uh, The Rock. Yeah. He filled that hole. And speaking of That's earlier <laughs> Speaking of earlier about um Important, it's important to stay in shape. I think one person that struggles with that is Channing Tatum, from what I've heard. Like he'll get all like he got a six pack for his um, his Magic Mike movies, but then you'll see like a magazine picture a month later, and he's like, you know, forty pounds heavier. Oh, but not even for a movie role, just because he just wants he just likes food. I think <laughs> it's all that good food, and it's all that you know, uh, crafty. Crafty could get you <laughs> when you're oh, on movie set. Oh, they have amazing oh, crafting. Yeah. that's the, the crafting challenge. Would definitely get you. Damn. <laughs> Damn, do you eat that crafting all the time? Well, some, well, do you know any movie sets where you can go get some crafting right yeah, now? Let's stop. go hit some crafting. That's what most of, you know, when you're on the movie I'll set. Just big, yeah, I'm a trainer, I'm a personal trainer on the set. Mm -hmm. And then you go and pick a little here and pick a little there, but it's, it's there all day long. So that oh, yeah, man. Um, well, these are, these are some pretty cool insights, cool stuff to share with you um, within the realm of, you know, the Hollywood acting scene. And, uh, you know, the, the challenge of really getting into shape and the, the kind of the secrets and the movie magic they use. So um, is there any other thing that we want to talk about um, on this uh, subject? Not too sure. <laughs> how, much, how, much, how much training was required for the fighter? Cause I, oh, God, that one we trained for a year and a half, two years. You train trained two years boxing and, and, March, and training. Yeah, and all of us, all together, two years before so we got, got the role. So he got the role. He got the role about two years before the, the, the movie went movie, out. Yeah, yeah because yeah. it took a minute to, to put it Because they wanted together. to really train. They wanted to get him really good for the, 
Yeah, so he trained with a lot of great, skills. great box, boxers. Cool. And he, I heard he has a he has a boxing ring in his house. Yep. Well, not anymore. He used to have a boxing ring for many, many, many years when he mm. lived in in the, this particular area. But now he moved into another house, and now he just has all the workout equipment. And, Dude, and, uh, I want a boxing ring. That's sick. Yeah. Be yeah. nice to just show up in a boxing ring every morning. Bring your friends right. over and let's knock them out. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, we'll fight each other. All right. So the moral of the story is. You got to be in shape pretty much all the time because a lot of times you won't have, you know, unless you're Mark Wahlberg getting a huge movie like The Fighter, you're not going to have that much time to, to prepare. prepare. Sometimes you might have six weeks and uh, and then... And it's just healthy. Yeah, it's just healthy. to be in, yeah. in shape all the time. You can't be in... If in Hollywood, you can't be doing the bulking cutting thing where you you spend six months kind of getting fatter and trying to put on size and then spending, you know, six months cutting. You got to be in shape all the time. That's what Chris and I teach is... Staying reasonably lean, getting stronger in the gym, making gains, and then, I mean, unless you have some growl where you have to get out of shape, then that's when you can let yourself go, and mm-hmm. uh, and yeah, and so and we're doing a we're going to a premiere tonight, huh? Yes, we're gonna go gonna see be... this great movie. Hopefully, my buddy Mio Hirsch is coming out with a great movie this in a couple of weeks. So, Hell we're yeah. gonna buy it. all right, well, cool guys, thank you so much for listening to the episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, we're here again with Henry Penzi. Um, and uh, where can people connect with you? Where can <laughs> what's they your, connect what's with you? What's your me? Instagram? Oh, what's your oh, Instagram? Just Henry, uh, just Henry Penzi. Henry Penzi. All right, you can Penzi. check out Henry Penzi. Um, and he's got a cool story. He's like he helped a lot of these these big actors get their get their run in. He was like the E. He's like the E from Entourage. Yeah, the E from. Are we allowed to tell them that? Yeah. <laughs> he's the E from Entourage. So very he's awesome. Keep moving the whole time. Gotta keep moving, man. Um, who's in better shape, me or Mark, right now? Um, I think he is. I mean, I think oh he's no! <laughs> After last we have, night, we have, we have a contest. <laughs> <laughs> he's always and, in shape. Oh, yeah. I'll have to have. I'll have to have. <laughs> I think he, he's better in shape than you. Well, Chris is strong. He he outlifted me on one of the machines yesterday, the dip machine. Wow! He did four plates for like seven reps. Oh, you have to show us. Let me see what you got there. Oh, well, you got a little gun there. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to be helping, I helping can. the brand here. <laughs> <laughs> Keto well, you're is way in good shape. In good shape. All right. Yeah. Thank you. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, this this uh, this this episode. Very very cool stuff. And you guys can get um, get on the. Uh, make sure to subscribe and make sure to go to kinonutrition.com. That's where we'll have all the information for you on what we got coming up for you. We're going to be putting out some really solid a pre workout supplement, a sleep supplement, and we also have. I just started the program. You're, that's pretty solid, man. <laughs> it's coming now. <laughs> I just started the program. <laughs> so, everybody, tune in. and Tune in. And, hell yeah. All right. 